hello and welcome my name is Amul and you are watching Gmint in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Rust on Microsoft Windows 10 okay so if you have Windows 7 8 8.1 you should be able to follow the instruction in and install Rust on your operating system so to install Rust simply go ahead and launch your preferred browser and go to rust-lang.org and then click on this install tab now uh, this is going to be recommended for you so 32-bit and 64-bit if you're using Windows subsystem Linux you can use this command all right so uh, first of all go ahead and check your system type so you can simply press the Windows key on the left bottom on your keyboard and pause break button on the right top above the numeric keys and here you can see it says system type 64 bit now I'll go ahead and download the 64 bit go ahead and click on it and this is going to be downloaded wherever you want depending on the uh, browser that you're using so I can see it's here if you're using Google Chrome you should not have any issue locating this downloaded file if you're using any other browser go ahead and check where it is now once it's located go ahead and click on it once and you'll get few options in the command prompt so it's going to use command prompt to install and make changes to install rust rust package manager cargo rust compiler rust c rust uh, tool chain which is rust up so everything is going to be installed it's also going to set these on your systems path and create a new variable rust home so here it says rust will download and install official compiler for rust programming language and its package manager called rust it will add cargo rust c and rust up another command to cargo's bin directory located at this is username and this is dot cargo and then this is where it's going to be located uh, this can be modified with cargo uh, underscore home environment variable that gets that gets created when you install it rust up metadata and tool chain will be installed into rust up home directory located at rust uh, under the username uh, this can be modified with rust up home environment variable this path will then be added to your home path environment variable by modifying this thing uh, you can uninstall with this command uh, 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 yeah with this command rust up self uninstall and these changes will be reverted current installation options so uh, this is default host triple toolchain is going to be stable profile default modif uh, modified path variable yes now we have three options we can go ahead and say one to install it with default settings two if you want to customize three if you want to cancel the installation so I'm going to press one and hit enter so press one and hit enter you can see it's downloading the components clippy rust docs so you get rust docs as well cargo is basically package manager like npm or yarn rust std so std is basically namespace that we use in C++ RUSTD so it's a very lower level programming language like C and C++ you can do everything that you do with C and C++ and Rust has few things that these languages don't offer like inbuilt security and package manager like cargo that lets you create on the fly everything So you can see it's doing a lot of things. It is uh, installing component cargo, 
clippy rust docks now other thing that is it is going to install let's see so basically we create applications with cargo so you simply say cargo new application name and then it creates the application and within the application it creates few directory and few files by default so uh, this installation time is going to differ on your system depending on the internet speed and the obviously the processor installing component rust std rust uh, R U S T C. Okay, so press continue. To get started, you need Cargo's bin directory in your environment variable. Future application will automatically have correct environment, but you may need to restart your current shell. Okay, so you simply have to restart the command prompt. Now let's go ahead and relaunch the command prompt. So you've got few commands already up. So if you say cargo, sorry, yeah, cargo, which is a com, uh, sorry, package manager. And this is a lot of inbuilt commands that you can use. Okay, you also have Rust C and Rust up. Clippy, uh, I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and create uh, a console application with with the help of Cargo. So I'm going to change the directory to desktop, and I'm going to say make dir Rust box. Change the directory, and here you can create the application. So to create the application, the the console application, you simply say cargo new and then the application name that is going to be demo. There is one flag that you say bin hyphen hyphen bin. Uh, you are just asking cargo to create a directory for binaries. Create it. So now if you go ahead and check demo. DIR. Let me quickly open this in code as well so you can see it everything visually. So, what it did basically so before the compilation, we haven't run any command to compile this application. So, what it did basically created the src uh, main.rs rust file dot ignore and tomal like the package package file where you can list all the application metadata and dependency dependencies okay so now let's go ahead and uh, compile it so to check the command that you get with cargo again you can run cargo and you can, you can see it runs run a binary or example of the local package so it's going to compile and build if you say cargo run compiling building running and you can see it did everything so it uh, ran as well now if you go ahead and have a look you can see you got this target where it's going to keep all the things build dependencies examples incremental You can see exe all right so it creates executable files the exe file that you get with the c and c plus plus so it's a really fast if you go ahead and make change anything here hello world from rust lang 
save it and go ahead and run it again it's going to be hello world from Roslang so alrighty that's it for this video if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much happy coding bye for now